Hello, welcome back YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you an overview of a program by iOrbit called iOrbit Malware Fighter 1.7 Pro. With this program, I'll let you in on what it's about, like the scan speed, the types of scans available, and the update process for the definitions, and so much more. There'll be only one part of this review, and like I had mentioned from the previous review of Advanced System Care 6 Pro, I will be doing a license key giveaway consisting of two malware fighter keys and three system care keys. So first I'll walk you around the program and get you familiar with everything the program has to offer and also then I'll hit it hard with my review and my analysis. So with no further comments let's go ahead and get started on this. First thing that you might notice is that the program costs $20, which is a fairly decent price to keep your system protected. Also, when you first install the iOrbit Malware Fighter, the process is fast, it's safe, and it's simple with no issues of whatsoever. And also, uninstalling iOrbit Malware Fighter is perfectly fast, safe, and simple as well. And the stability of the program, the issues that I've had from the previous version of iOrbit Malware Fighter, they've all been patched. So we're good, 100% stabilized, and from the tests that I've had before they're all good now in regards to the update process it's actually kind of poor in my eyes the pro version of this feature automatically updates unlike the free version which only has manual updates so you have to do that manually in the free version but what gets me is the fact that there are only three to four core definitions updates a week and what I see is that this is just plain unacceptable to me for any type of security software so with regards to the scan logs, the scan logs are actually great. In the pro version, it's just easy to find and navigate as in the free version and they can be found via an easy button. I found them really easy to read and understand, but unfortunately, which stops me from seeing that they're perfect is that I found the process log really hard to understand and rather messy. And what I mean by that is if you look right here, it's kind of just a little distorted. It's not very organized right here. Now the scan log is a bit easier to understand. It just gives you a summary of what you've done and that makes so much sense to us. So onto the protect tab, we look at the startup guard and it's basic, it requires no work at all, and it scans virtually nothing that has been found on my computer. Now in regards to the browser guard, it works very well, it has scanned a few items with no detection so far in my computer right here. The network guard, it has found no detections on my network, seems to do its job just fine. And the file guard works pretty well, it has found no detections so far at all, being that this is a new installation of of Windows 7. Now the cookie guard, like all the rest in this section, it has been very simple and perfect for the basic PC user and it has no detection so far on this computer as well. The process guard, it's also very simple, basic, and requires very little work. It's found nothing at all on this computer as well. In regards to a USB disk guard, it's actually pretty great. In regards to all my files that I have on my external larger hard drives or my USB flash drive, when I go ahead and stick it inside my Windows operating system it does a scan and it has found some infected files however they are false positive meaning that they aren't harmful and this USB stick test has featured itself to be a very very good feature for the iOrbit malware fighter now going to the malicious action guard it's very basic requires little work or no work at all it has alerted me to a number of registry changes so example if there is something installed onto your computer without you knowing it it's gonna allow you to either deny it or allow those changes so that's actually the best feature of them all so far now moving on to the cloud support I don't think it's a good idea at all so if you think about it if you can view all the safe files and threats iOrbit has found and then with that information is streamed over to the cloud from the server this allows everyone not just iOrbit but also other users to see what is safe in a threat via a percentage of the green bar and the red bar I wouldn't recommend using this feature for a security of your own PC sake now Moving on to the last feature of this whole iOrbit Malware Fighter Pro, the support, just like any other freeware version of the program, you have their virtual technical support or their community forum, but with a paid version, you also get online support and also personal support, depending if you want to email them and get in contact with them so you have an issue, they probably have an answer. So moving up to the final verdict of this program, iOrbit Malware Fighter Pro, it's a very simplistic program. It actually works in our favor 
flavor. There is still no major features that I'd like to go ahead and see that I had mentioned before. I Orbit Now where Fighter performs on almost every level of its competition, let's say uh, Super Anti Spyware or Malware Bytes. The overall lack of daily definition is a negative. Again, three or four definitions updates a week is very poor and it leaves the question open to me as to why. Also, how in the world can I Orbit Malware Fighter be considered as an up to date malware program that is ready to defend your computer? In regards to the new threats that are every day, still three to four definitions updates a week is pretty poor. Although there are three different scan levels of this program, it's recommended that you just stick to the smart scanning method and allow the program to run in the background while you get on with your other daily tasks because you really don't want to be bothered of it. All of the iOrbit malware fighter features such as startup guard, browser guard, network guard, file guard, and even cookie guard also work well together and require no work on your behalf as long as you keep the program running and definitions up to date. Moving down to the cloud service, I've actually never really cared for the cloud saving before and using this program and after using it and I can still say that I still really don't care for the cloud saving as it invites far too many loopholes and ways for people to learn about you. Your system and you, what you do with your life, it should never be removed from this program. If you just want to keep your computer secure from issues, then just go ahead and get the free version but if you want to do a lot more and maybe invite people through via cloud, then the pro version is for you. But I'm still going to recommend it as long as my cloud security is turned off but in regards to anything else this would be the best program or another solution also would be a good program called Malwarebytes. So if you guys like this review go ahead and thumbs up. If you guys care to stay tuned for the giveaway go ahead and stay subscribed and I will have that video out pretty soon. Okay so until next time regarding the giveaway I will see you guys later. Alright take care.